So we got a couple of people writing in saying that they didn't get an interview invite or even waitlisted for interviews. How can these candidates strengthen their application for the next cycle? Um, just in my, my experience um, uh, in applying, because I when I initially applied to medical school and I didn't get in, I was thinking about reapplying to medical school again before I applied to PA school. And when I was thinking about reapplying, um, or when you're reapplying to any program, kind of thing, the things you want to think about are what are the different pieces of the application? So GPA, supplemental, interview, or if you got to the interview stage, then you had already completed the supplemental. What are the different aspects? And then what are some things you think you did well? And what are some things you think you did better? And what are some things that you can accomplish within one year's time that's achievable and uh, that would help strengthen the application? So there's obviously maybe you have a, a whole list of things you want to do, but be reasonable with yourself. Maybe pick a couple things that you really want to work on uh, and maybe even consider if you did interview with some practice interviewing with somebody uh, asking them, what are, what are some feedback that you could provide me with? It's really hard because you don't really get feedback on your application. So it's really up to you to do the work to consider what are some things that I could do to strengthen myself as a candidate. I would say like, first of all, like, it might be really, really hard. And I, I know because I've, I've been through it. Um, I, don't, I don't know if we're talking about this later on. Uh, and, but anyways, I'll touch on it right now. Um, so yeah, it was really hard because I had put all that effort and I, I know that everyone does, right? You, you spend so much time writing your application, uh, hours and hours you edit and you have all these hopes and you kind of see yourself as you know, a PA student and one day as a PA, it's like this big thing. So of course, when you get the refusal, it can be really, really hard. Like for me, I like my husband said he never saw me cry as much as for that day where I got a refusal. And I, for me personally, I actually had to take a little step back from everything related to PA because it was just, it was just too much, and I was just too emotional. And it's okay. Like it's you don't have to make a decision about your life, you know, right now. Oh, you can take a little like a few weeks, or I took a few months before deciding I wanted to reapply. So and don't worry about it, and that's fine. Um, I have a lot of people message me on, on Instagram and say like, oh, like I, I thought my application was super good. I don't understand like what happened. And I, I, kinda, I posted about this on my Instagram recently saying like, it's, it's not necessarily an attack against you personally. It, it just might be that, you know, other applicants just, you know, shine, shown a little bit more on other things that made them stand out. It's not because you're not good enough. Um, so again, try to, it's really hard because I know like for myself, I blame myself and kind of was really hard on myself, but try not to do that and see this really as an opportunity to grow. Like, yes, it kind of sucks to have to start over. Oh yeah, not starting over, starting from experience um, and going through that process again. Like, yes, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of effort. It's some money and it kind of sucks, but it really like for me made me experience sides that I didn't know existed. It, like the perseverance, like keep pushing and see like really, again, evaluating yourself. Like I reread my application, my supplemental. And I was like, I was so sure the first time I applied, I was like, this is really strong. And I read it again, like a year after I'm like, wow, it actually it really sucks. <laughs> it didn't suck, but it wasn't really as, it wasn't as strong as I thought it was. So really like take the time off from walking away maybe now and go back to it afterwards and really take the time to go through it um, and see like, okay, what can you improve? Uh, you can even ask some family members. Maybe you have a healthcare provider that you work with. Um, it's always good to have that, that, you know, that point of view as well. So ask that person, like, do you mind taking a minute just to read through and maybe give me some advice um, at introspect? And, you know, if you, for example, again, think about the, the you know, being well-rounded, if you only had, like for me, I only had two years of undergrads. I was like, that's probably one point that was weak for me. The fact that I only had two years undergrad, so I had to keep going. And I really got my credits up to three years. Um, if you only have, you know, indirect patient care, are you able to get something that's more direct patient care? Um, you know, just try to figure out what aspect. There's so many aspects. There's GPA, you know, healthcare experience, volunteer experience. There's so many things you can work on. So try not to look at uh, tunnel vision. Don't look at only one thing, but see globally what you can do to be um, a better applicant. And like, don't be shy to reach out and, you know, ask for help if you need that. So how many, um, how much time did you take, you said, to process the, the result? And for those that are like, like in it right now, completely devastated or unsure, like what advice would you have for them at this time? Um, I took a lot of time and I actually, I remember I messaged you, Anne, because uh, we, were, we were talking a bit when I was in my application process and um, it's crazy. I still remember exactly when I found out that I, I, was, in, I was at the gym and I came home, I just started crying. I really needed to take a full break like for several months. So I had, I had my Instagram account back then as well. I just removed it from my phone. I was like, I don't want to know anything about this. I messaged and I'm like, and you won't hear from me for a while. I need to process. 
I wasn't even sure I was going to reapply actually, even though PA was like the thing I really wanted. It hurt, it hurt so much that I wasn't sure if I wanted to go through that again, a second time if ever that happened. So I actually needed a few months to not think about it, to be like, okay, like I'm able to go through this again. And this is really what I want. And I'm not going to focus on the fact that I might get hurt again. I'm going to focus on how can I rock this and how can I become a better applicant? So I would say, take the time. Don't worry. Don't be too hard on yourself. Um, really do things that, you know, make you feel better. If it can be like spending time with a loved one, it might be harder in COVID times, but um, you know, if you like uh, Hannah mentioned yoga, exercising, uh, really do things that make you feel good. Like, cause and you need to kind of disconnect from the negative feelings of, um, you know, not being accepted. And once you're past that, that hump and you're ready again, then sit down, look at your, your application, um, really like take out all the aspects. Okay, like what was my GPA? Do I think that's competitive enough? Uh, what's hard with GPA though, and we kind of all know this, it's a really slow process. So if you have a lower GPA, it's not necessarily like one class and you're done. But um, what I often recommend, if it, if it is GPA, maybe reach out. If you're still in university, reach out to the academic advisor at your university. Oftentimes you can have sit, like have a sit down with you and say like, okay, like if you have, if you take this amount of classes and you get this grade, this is how much you can improve your GPA. So then you have a better idea of, you know, what you can do to get that, you know, in a, in a better place. And if it's even possible. Um, and yeah, then, you know, again, if you if you're lacking experience, go out there. Um, people often say like, what can I do? Like, really don't be shy. Like message everyone, you know, say, Hey, if you know someone that's looking for, you know, a position in healthcare, I'm your person, write it on your Facebook, look at all the websites. It's, it's a lot of work and a lot of effort. But for me, it paid off because here I am today. That's super cheesy. Sorry, but it's true. <laughs> no, that's a very good point. And um, just to clarify, when you applied the first time, it was, uh, you you, you applied to two schools, correct? I only applied to U of T uh, my first year. So um, actually it was from your advice. I remember you said that at one point, like um, it's good to have like, it's good to aim as, as far as we can. Like in Canada, we only have three programs. So we're not like in the US, they oftentimes apply to like 20 schools at the same time. We don't have that option here. But even though my mind was really set on U of T, I knew that if I applied to Mac, like it wouldn't be my first choice. Like I wouldn't really want to move, um, you know, to go to McMaster and have in-person classes. But what I really wanted is to be a PA. So I was like, I'm ready to go through that if that's what, you know, will get me there. So I applied to both schools and it really helped because I got, I remember I got my uh, interview invite from Mac first and just having that was like, like, cause I didn't even get an interview invite the first time. So just to get an invite from Mac first was like a huge pick me up and then uh, U of T as well. So it's like just confident base. That was enough just to have those two. And it was also really nice to have both experiences like in terms of interview, they're a little bit different. So that was really nice as well. And what do you think was so different about your application attempt the second time versus the first time that secured you invites at two schools? Credits from schools. So I went from being two years to three years. I think that was a big point. Um, you know, I remember attending, like I attended a Mac had like, you know, those online sessions, I forget how they're called, but they kind of give the information sessions. And I, I remember they're saying that it's kind of hard to get accepted into P school with an uh, ongoing uh, degree for our class in U of T. I think we're five or six maybe who have ongoing degrees. So most of the times it's people who have completed their degree. So I knew that I really had to do the most I could during that one year. So I took as many classes as I could. I worked really hard to maintain that, that GPA fairly high. Um, and then I was like, well, what, what's an issue with me? I was like, it's not a healthcare experience. I have 15,000 hours. That's not a problem. I was like, well, maybe it's my sub app. So again, I, I opened it up. And like I said, I read it. And I was like, oh, wow. I thought this was strong last year. And I, I basically scrapped it completely. Um, I used maybe two, three sentences from it. Um, but I decided to write it completely from scratch. Um, and really, I, even, I think I even used part of my experience and the fact that I was, you know, I got a turn down the first time and how I grew for that second time and because it did change me as a person so I figured it was worth talking about in my application so yeah um school and re uh, rethinking my application and then prepping for the interview because I didn't have a chance to do that the first time around again so you said I think really just going through some self-reflection uh is really great because it can help uh not only strengthen your application the second time around but just give you some reflection on what you want out of your career and that'll help really guide your path regardless and really strengthen your responses and i i think just being also uh 
gracious with yourself and allowing yourself to experience all the emotions, I think is so important because applications to uh, programs and hearing back is just also stressful and you've been working towards something for so long. So I think it's just important to make sure that you're really gracious with yourself.